Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me once again. You're always most welcome. Well, today another one of our short videos because I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and be a bit briefer. Uh, and it's uh, one of these very interesting vehicles uh, currently being used in the Ukraine, of course, Armed Forces. And it's the Ural 43203, which is basically um, like a, a, an armoured truck, effectively, uh, a box truck. Um, used by the forces of Ukraine. So let's have a little look at this. It's a 70 second scale kit, so it's quite a dinky little one this time. So this shouldn't take us too long. It's going to be reminiscent of this sort of air fixed stroke matchbox uh, style of scaling. And kit number is 72709. On the side we have got a couple of uh, shots of it in two different schemes, two different types of camo. So it doesn't actually tell you a lot about the vehicle on the side, so let's have a look inside and see if we can get cracking. Now I did have a bit of trouble, didn't I? Because I seem to have misplaced my knife for some reason. So I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to try and open this as um, gingerly as I can without being too aggressive on the box. Uh, I'm trying to get through the tape basically, that's the trick. I think we're in. Uh, our friends in, uh, in Kiev at the ICM are very good at really good at packaging their stuff, perhaps a bit too good sometimes because it can be quite challenging to get into. Uh, this is not the ideal way of doing it, not to be honest, sort of hacking away with the tweezers. But at least this time there's only four bits of tape, not seven or eight like there often is on the others. Hmm. Are we in? Yes? No? Come on, let me in. I promise I'll get, get my knife back from wherever I've put it for the next vid. Okay, we right, so let's have a look at this little vehicle and this is going to be quite interesting. Can I get into the box though? Because as you know, the box within a box are quite tricky at the best of times. Struggling. We have a problem. And then at one end, oh, it doesn't want to give up its treasure, does it? Right, we're in. Okay. Now then. Oh, right then. Nice to see a little dinky vehicle like this. Nice and small. Ah, there's an excellent writer. Now, this is one of the things I like about ICM. Their instructions are pretty good, especially when they do videos like they do sometimes. But they always give you some data about the vehicle or the aircraft or whatever, which others don't bother to do, you know. And it's a quite small, cheap kit, this one. I think this is retailing in the UK for about £18, I think. It's under £20. Anyway, it says the Ural military all-wheel drive car was produced in 1977. It was popular and widely distributed to its high operation, due to its high operational qualities. And the production of its modernised weapons is still ongoing. The car has many versions, among which there are versions with bodies of the Kung type, closed van bodies for installation of special equipment or the transportation of personnel. Initially they were made of wood and later using metal. <laughs> wood, really? Okay. Uh, these van bodies were developed for specific car models. Truck models, I think I mean. Excuse me. But they were also universal, which made it possible to use them on different chassis. Okay. In addition to special army equipment, such, such van bodies are also equipped with heating, ventilation, and lighting systems. A significant quality of Ural cars with such closed bodies continue to be used currently by the armed forces of Ukraine. Okay. I guess it's a Soviet era. A truck basically, um, and we've got some. I even got decals for the for the camo. That's good, isn't it? I like it already. This one, right? Let's have a look at this. Check it out. Oh yeah, I like it. That's going to save you a lot of masking and faffing about, isn't it? So every bit of that camo is basically a decal. Um, they are separate, but then you want them separate, otherwise you might get silvering, of course. But doesn't that take a lot of work out of the painting? It just means there's quite a bit of deckling work. That's the only downside to it, of course. 
yeah, the day calendar is going to take you quite a while. It doesn't say where it's printed, so I guess it's their own Ukrainian production, rather than someone like um, Cartograph or whatever. Well, those are nice, that's a good start. And then we have got the instructions. So let's get cracking. Here we go. So, starts off with, to zoom, starts off with a sprue map, and then we get cracking. And you're building up your chassis basically. The, it looks like the chassis comes, the, the, the sort of twin box section chassis, it looks like it comes as one part, part A1, and then you put all your support structures on it your exhaust, your gearbox, transaxles and suspension all go in there building up your wheels and tyres here and then you've got your dashboard with the steering wheel and a grab handle there you've got front seats with a gear change, a manual gear change in the middle and then we've got building up some more wheels and then you've got your box section being constructed here so you've got uh, it looks like a spare wheel that's going on the back and you've got um, all sorts of brackets and boxes that are going to go inside uh, sorry looking at this from underneath actually the perspective of that is a little bit confusing I've got it now, don't know about you yeah perhaps it's my glasses so you're actually putting on the underneath here with the mud guards aren't you and then we have got the, tr the cabin itself of the truck so again, that's there's one piece that is the main uh, body part, including the bonnet, and then you've got radiator grill going in, uh, or rather radiator itself, I should say. You've got your windscreen going in, and you've got the sort of lower floor section, and the mud guards, arches, and then here you're bringing on that back section. Um, so the back section is again it's, it looks like it's in one big piece really oh yeah okay and then you've got like um, a ventilation pipe on the top you've got the exhaust going in behind the cab and it looks like there's some sort of radio transmitter uh, an air conditioning unit I think it is and then you've got your your bumper going onto your chassis and that's it okay well that, that was quick wasn't it wow <laughs> Took me a bit by surprise, actually. Oh yes, uh, I'm not the most familiar with trucks, if I'm honest, <laughs> really. But that seemed rather nice. I mean, I thought there was more to it than that. That seems to go. They've, they've made quite a lot of parts in one big piece, so you don't have too much fiddly construction. Let's have a look at the plastic. Then. Yep, nice big suitable bag. Okay, oh yes indeed. Oh I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm, the only thing I'm not sure about, they have they have moulded the wheels in two halves, which I'm never the biggest fan of because they always seem to end up with a join and a, a seam down the middle of the tire. So you see that? But aren't they nicely moulded? Look at the treads on those tires. Oh that's fantastic tread. Yeah, we like that. Very, very impressive. Nicely moulded. Very crisp. And then there's another, another sprue here with another six on. Wow. So yes, yeah, so you've got a total of ten. So it's um, I'm gonna say twelve. Be stupid. Twelve and two is fourteen. 14, so it's one, two, three, because you've got spares, haven't you? So that's what's throwing. It's throwing me because of the spare wheel, that's what just made me confused. Very nice, though, very nicely moulded. So that's that. Then we have over here, it's in two colours as well. I've just realised it's a bit like a matchbox. Oh, I'm liking it more and more with every second that passes. So here you've got the floor um, of the cat, of the, the box section here, and then we've got our radiator, it's all quite small, radiator, you've got this air con unit, there's a little bit of flash, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, a little tiny bit of flash there, um, but remember the scale we're in here, so it's all relevant. Here's your mud guards, mud flaps, uh, you've got all these, and I said there's antennas and transmitters on the top, 
Uh, you've got your, this is the retainer clamp for the rear spare wheel. What looks like some jerry cans, I think it is. Mmm. Tiny bit of flash there. Very, very minimal. Very minimal. And over here we've got a black sprue, so this is why I said it looks like Matchbox. Uh, so here's that um, section that's all one, that's the main chassis, central area. And then we've got, yeah, various other bits really, but various other bits. We've got our steering wheel here, steering wheel there, and we've got uh, the suspension leaf springs there, whoops, there. And you've got all these bits of the uh, uh, transaxle and the uh, exhaust system. You've got seats in the back, the uh, the box section. Some very nice parts, I've got to say. It's very nicely figured. Uh, look over on this side, you get a little bit more detail. Yeah, yes, it's very matchbox like. Um, there's a bit of warpage, I've got to say. Um, I'm not sure the actual moulding is ICM's best. I'm not sure what the date of this is. I don't think it's a new model. Or is it? Doesn't actually say. I don't think it's the latest uh, quality because you can see there's a bit of warpage, a little bit of. A little bit old school in places, perhaps. Um, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. There's the exhaust exit tailpipe. And then we have this rather nice, I've got to say this is rather good. This is the actual uh, main cab of the tractor unit. Yeah, that's rather good. Only one piece, look. It's cool. Yeah, I like that. That's quite sharp, sharply moulded. Very nice. And then here's the here's the back part. So this is the uh, that's the very back, isn't it? So actually, it's like that. Actually, it's the other way around to what I just showed. Something like that, basically. And again, what moulded all in one big piece. And this looks fine. There's no problem with the moulding here. It's lovely. Very sharp and crisp. No warpage or anything there, very nice indeed. And then lastly, we have a few clear parts. Which we're going to take a nosy at, if I can get them out. I feel like the clear bits alike. Transparent sprues can be very hit and miss, especially on armoured vehicles. <laughs> yeah, there is some there is a little distortion here. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not ICM's best work. In fairness, uh, even though it's only very small, you know that's pretty noticeable. In fairness, I think it's going to lose a point for that one. If we're truthful, that would only be fair. <coughs> I have to maintain my reputation for impartiality and uh, and an honest and factual review. And if I see things I don't like or I think that's a flaw, I will say so. And I, I think I see know that. They don't mind about that at all. Here's the other clear parts. And yeah, I mean, they're very small. It's hard to get them very finessed, I suppose. I do get the feeling that this is a little bit of an older kit. I don't think this is a state-of-the-art latest edition. Um, distortion is very visible there. So the, the clear parts do let it down a little bit if we're being honest. Uh, the black sprue's got a bit of warpage and a little bit of flash here and there. So, hmm, it's probably not going to be 10 out of 10 for this one I'm afraid. But it is a nice little kit and you know, I say it's kind of cheap as chips really. And I think especially what it does recover a lot because that the cabin is beautifully uh, conceived and, and produced. The tyres are gorgeous. 
ones that you can manage to build them without getting too much of a seam. So I would say eight and a half out of ten for this one, I think. I don't think that would be unreasonable. Um, it's a very nice kit though, nice and cheap. And it, I mean, I do like the fact you don't have to do too much work to build it up. You could build that in a, probably a day, to be honest, certainly in a weekend, no problem at all. So there we are. So I'm saying eight and whoops. Sorry, my French friends, I've just not a French flag over some of that. Uh, yes. So uh, eight and a half out of ten, I think is a fair, fair score. I, I hope you agree. Um, but if you like small vehicles, uh, that would be that would be something that I think you'd like. Something that James Miller likes. This isn't it? He's into his little vehicles at the moment. I think. Um, perhaps if, you, if you're watching James, perhaps you should drop me a line and see if you want to have that donated. I think it's right, right up your street, that one. Anyway, there we are. So, nice kit. Not, not knocking it at all. It's a really dinky little model. Pocket money price. Just needs a little bit of... Um, tiny bit of feckling with some of the, the sprues that I've got a little bit of flash on them. Where did they go in there? I've got a bit of an issue here, actually. <laughs> it's mainly me this time. I've not really packed it very well. I'm going to put the box section in a silly place. So there we go. Got it now. All sorted. There we are. Great. But they're nice little kits, aren't they? And I like the scale. Uh, it's nice to see sort of, sort of, shall we say, humbler vehicle at that scale. Very nice. There we go then. Eight and a half out of ten. But, you know, cheap as chips. Very nice. Very good decals. Very good decals. They were a good thing. That'll save you a lot of paint masking and horror with the painting process. You just paint it in the olive green, whatever it was. Uh, and then you've got it, you know, you just put the decals on to give you your Ukraine digital mass, uh, digital camo. Job's done, isn't it? Very nice kit. Hope you'll give me 10 out of 10. Thank you very much for joining me. Another one, fairly short one today because it's a nice small kit. Um, thanks for all your time and trouble watching the video. Hope you found it interesting and thought provoking. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, remember to ding or re-ding the notification bell. So it'll ensure that you do get a notification for the next video. And until that comes along, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much to ICM for providing the kit. And I hope to see you in the very near future. Until then, thanks a lot. And bye for now.